Hello, on this video we are going to be talking about the height gauge. Okay, this is one kind, there are several different kinds, and um, we would use it to measure the length of something. If I only have zero to six inch calipers and I have a 12 inch height gauge, I can measure more. So I'll zoom in a little bit here. So on the height gauge, I have this blade piece over here that comes down and you zero out on the table. You gotta do it lightly, because watch what happens if I keep turning this dial, it actually jacks it up, okay? And if I were to say, hey, here's my zero, while it's jacked up, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have a bad reading. So, I highly recommend holding the base and coming down, and I don't use this handle very often unless I'm going way up or way down. But when I'm close to where I want to go, I just use the outside of the dial because I can let it kind of slip through my fingers, kind of like ratchet on the micrometer. See, okay, I'm there. So then I would turn it and I would set my, make sure it's on zero. And these are counters. They count at revolutions, hundred thousandths. So zero, one full revolution is a hundred thousandths, just like our dial calipers. So I set zero. <clears throat> Now this is an area that a lot of people get confused because if you look at this one right now, I can kind of see a one. It's not at a hundred. So um, sometimes it doesn't totally clear out and it's just a plastic gear counter. So if I'm doing something, you know, it's not too tall, I might count how many revolutions, 100, 200, 300, 400, and so on, okay? <clears throat> 400, look, the four worked, there it is, 400, because this can go 12 inches, so I could have 11.4, so I would read it as, over here is my inches, then my hundreds, and then my, um, shall we say, pennies, dollars, pennies, okay? if you think about it that way, if that helps. So, <clears throat> why would I use this? Well, on the lathe, we make parts. This is for a, a project where we're going to make our own edge finder. And so, this needs to be 1.250 long. We faced one side, just like most processes, mill lathe, you face one side, then you clean up the other side a little bit, then you measure. I can measure it with a number of different ways. Calipers a little more is more accurate than a ruler, um, but the micrometer is more accurate than the caliper, and the height gauge is equivalent to, let's say, the caliper, because like I said, I could jack this up a little bit by being a little bit heavy. You know, I just, if I, oh, if I think that's where it is, I just moved out of my tolerance. Um, but if I've got, let's say, an eighth of an inch to take away, and I could come over here and make a quick check, because in the lathe, regardless of whether I'm going to use it with a micrometer or a caliper or the height gauge, I'm going to need to take it out of the machine to measure it. Okay. So I'm going to look at this. I'm not there yet. So it says 2.4. Is it 2.490 or is it 2.390? So what I do is I will move up to zero since it's close to zero. And when it says zero now, that's 2.4. So that means if it's down, that's less. So that means I would be 2.4. 390 looks like 2, 2.392. Now, let's get our micrometer on. Oh, this is not a big enough micrometer. Just for the heck of it, quick check. I'm going to pull out a caliper as a double check. 2.392. Take my caliper out, and I have 2.391 and a half. 
2.390, almost 2, okay? So I got pretty much the same reading as this. Now, if I have a micrometer, I would need a 2 to 3 micrometer for this particular one. I don't have a lot of those. I got a couple, um, but, um, you know, it's not always what you normally have at the machine. So in this case, 2.393, I would recommend writing this number down so that when I go back to my machine and I put this in the machine, um, I can touch off, set my digital readout, and I know I have to take off um, in order to get to 2.25, 2 I've got 143 to take off. I would take some material off, estimating maybe leaving 50 thousandths or something like that and saying, okay, there should be 50 left, coming back over here, checking it again, seeing if in fact I was right in my thinking. Because sometimes if you touch off the lathe too hard or too soft, you could be off just like doing this, jacking it up. So notice I can jack it up here too, measuring my part. So not only for zero, I also recommend holding down on the base and turning with the outside of the dial lightly too. And I usually go up and come back several times because sometimes you can hit it a little bit too hard. And if I do it several, three, four, five times, I can, can say, you know what? Almost every time I got 92, I'm going with 92. Now, I could do it from the top down like this, or I'm sorry, we set our zero down here, remember? Okay. Now, I could have a part, put this sucker up here. Okay, so let's say I want to measure the distance from here to here, okay? And I could, I'll turn this so easier to see, I could touch off the top. Now, you want to get in the habit of wiping off the surface and wiping off the bottom of this because like any setup, if there's any kind of chips or debris, it's going to um, mess it up, uh, lose accuracy. So I could come to the top. So before I was looking at the top dial here, let me turn it so you can see it, I was looking at the top dial. So now I'm still going to set both of them, but I'm going to come down to this surface. And I'm going to play the game again of just touching. I, the top says 994. I know it's not 994. 99 inches? No way. So I'm looking at the bottom one. So when I'm going down, I look at the bottom one, and it looks like it's... I see between 6 and 7, am I at 6, am I going to 7? So I'm going to slide it off and I'm going to move to 0. And it looks like 6. I would say I'm 5. There's littler numbers so you can read backwards. 92, 592 would be my guess. So, hey, let's do a double check. We'll set zero here. Now there's certain cases you want to go down. In this particular example, you wouldn't need to, so I can set zero here. Oh, now look at because this height is here, the zero doesn't line up to the zero. I can rotate the dial to line up my zero, and it doesn't mess anything up. And then I could come up here. Oopsie, forgot to set my counters. Come up. Uh, that looks like right at 600. So I must have been a little heavy handed or something. But I want to show you something here that I noticed. Sometimes something happens with these. So now this one, if I touch off, my zero is up by the top. Okay, now let's take a look at this other one I got here. Now I've cleaned it, wiped it, took this apart, put it back together because I thought something was wonky. But if I come down here and I do the same process, touch off, look, the needle's way down here. So I don't know, there's little teeth in here for the gear. 
So I don't know if it jumped one or whatever, but it's accurate, it repeats, okay? Same process, hold it down, go to zero. So it really doesn't matter where the needle is for zero on your part that you're measuring or on the surface plate, as long as you zero this out, zero out your counters, and then you'll be able to measure away pretty accurately. All right, that'll do it for height gauge on a surface plate. And I don't know if I really spoke too much about this surface plate, but this surface plate is super duper flat. It's flatter than anything else in the shop. Uh, it's expensive, it's a piece of granite. You can't drop stuff on it, it'll chip it. Uh, it. It needs to be clean. It gets dirty, dust falls out of the air when we're cutting and stuff. So you always wanna clean it, clean it, wipe it. Sometimes we need to get uh, granite cleaner, surface plate cleaner, and clean it so that it gets, because it gets full of dirt and junk, and then it just affects the accuracy. You're only as accurate as the tool you're measuring with. So if I'm using a height gauge, it has its own actu ac accuracy limitations. And if I did this on, let's say, this steel bench over here, instead of a surface plate, I, I couldn't count on anything being good with this, okay? So this surface plate is super duper flat, super duper smooth super precision, and expensive. Pipe gauge, surface plate. Have a good day.